Good day. My name is Jay Paloma, and today I will talk to you about implementing HTTPS on a System Center 2012 R2 Configuration Manager. Let's now take a look at creating the certificate templates. Configuration Manager requires three certificate templates. The first one is the client certificate. This is used by uh, the client machine to authenticate with the different servers, uh, the different Configuration Manager servers. Take note that in some Configuration Manager uh, operations, Mutual authentication is required. That's why we will need a server certificate. And at the same time, we need also a client certificate. This one we need to deploy to all the configuration manager clients. Now take note also that some of your servers or all of your servers might be configuration manager clients themselves. That's why we need to implement those these client certificates on those servers as well. The next certificate that we need is an exportable client cert. Okay, for the purpose for this entire um, video series, let's call this the DP cert, the DP, DP, the distribution point certificate. This certificate actually has two purposes. During operating system deployment, this certificate is um, used as a temporary certificate uh, by the bare metal client during the OST process. Okay, um, I will, below is a link that describes the details um, on how that, the purpose of this exportable uh, client cert. The next one is, uh, the next use of this um, exportable client cert is that the client, uh, the, this certificate is used by the distribution point when sending distribution point status messages to the MP. Now, um, your SCCM client also reports to an MP, okay? Uh, so you might think, okay, the, the client certificate, the, the first one above, is the one that needs to do this, okay? What I'm saying in the second purpose of the DP cert is that if the distribution point reports to its management point functioning as a DP and not as an SCCM client, not as a, uh, a client of configuration manager, then this DP cert is the one that's used by that DP as a client cert to authentic, um, to encrypt the data between the client, the, D, the DP, and its management point. Okay, um, where do we deploy this to? We, although we, obviously we need uh, at least one DP certificate for every DP, um, you can actually reuse the same certificate uh, of this, um, uh, we reuse the same certificate. Although this works, it now depends on the your customer, it now depends on you. If you want to recycle, if you want to reuse the same certificate um, uh, on multiple DPs, okay? So what do we do with this certificate? Take note again, this is an exportable client cert. Okay, as an exportable client cert, you will, um, you will, in, enroll this certificate onto one of your distribution points or one of your servers, then you need to export this to a PFX file. Now that file is the one that's used um, during the configuration of the DP to HTTPS. Okay, that's the second certificate template. The third certificate template that we will use is what's called a server certificate or this one, we can call it a web certificate or an IIS certificate. This is used for web server encryption. You roll this out where? You roll this out to all management points, all distribution points. Um, uh, note that those two um, services, the key component of those two services is IIS. You also need to, to um, roll this out to all SUPs and all reporting services points, as well as all other um, SCCM, uh, all other configuration manager uh, services that use IIS. Mm, basically, this is practically all of them. Now, how do we create the certificate templates? Okay, this is a breakdown on the different tasks that we need to do. First up, we need to create three 
Active Directory Global Security Groups. Okay, this one we will give permission to the three templates that we will enroll. Okay, so note that um, due to the sensitivity of these certs, you don't just allow everyone to enroll it. Okay, the ones that will enroll it are actually the machines. Okay, so you give permission to computer accounts. These global security groups will only contain computer accounts of the machines that are allowed to enroll using those certificates. You will have to uh, refer back to the to the previous table on where to deploy what certificate, okay, what type of certificate, and uh, using what certificate template. Now, after you create your um, these global groups, after you add a computer as a member of uh, one or more of these global groups, you may need to reboot these machines uh, for these permissions to take into effect for its actual, you know, um, uh, membership of that. Uh, computer account to that global group okay then you need to create the three certificate templates by copying from an already existing template and customizing further now a few notes on this your alternate name the alternate name should be acquired from active directory and the format should be dns name okay then when you create your certificate templates you need to grant read enroll and auto enroll uh, permissions on the security group that you created uh, that is intended for that certificate template okay and there's an optional um, tax there to remove all administrators all you know all, all enrollment capabilities for any from any administrator so the enterprise admin domain admin etc okay may just there's an optional task to remove their capability to enroll and auto enroll. Then you need to publish these three templates to your cert uh, certificate authority. Then you need to restart the Active Directory Certificate Authority service for this publication to really take place. So first up in the creation of the certificate templates is to create the three global groups that we will give permission to create to enroll those security three security templates so in active directory users and computers we create our first um, global security group at ccm lab iis certificates global search servers okay and we create the other two groups the DP cert group, and finally the IAS, uh, the client cert group. We will now populate these groups uh, containing, they should contain the computer accounts. Okay, so this client cert is basically all of the machines in this lab. Okay, all three, I added it. Then the DP cert will should only contain one machine, the DP. Which is CMSRV1. Then finally, the IIS should only contain that DP, CMSRV1. We are now creating the new um, certificate template. Okay, I use the web server as the as the source. Then this is my our IAS cert. Okay. The active the, the subject name should be built from Active Directory. The name format should be DNS name. Then. We will also configure the security of this template so that only the only machines that are allowed to enroll 
are those that are a member of the IIS CERT Global Group. So it should have permission to read, enroll, and auto-enroll. Okay, read, enroll, and auto-enroll. We have the option actually to delete the ability of the administrators, domain admins, enterprise admins to enroll the cert. Okay, but this is just optional. So let's now create the second template. I will now duplicate the workstation certificate. Okay. So this is our client certificate. We can change the validity period. Then we need to change the subject name. Again, DNS name format. Subject name format should be DNS name. Then we need to configure the security. Again, the security. So that we only give permission to the global group, the SCCM lab client cert. Okay, read enroll and auto enroll and again remove the ability to enroll from the administrators And finally, our third template, which is actually also a workstation a client certificate. A work, so we now duplicate this workstation. This will be our SSM Lab DP certificate. Again, change the validity. The special thing here is that under request handling, we should allow the private key to be exported. Okay, so after we configure all the templates, we need to now publish these three templates. So new certificate template to publish, to issue, okay, we now publish those three. And we restart the certificate, the Active Directory Certificate Authority.